Guys, how are you all doing? It's Oshan here from Ingot RC Experience. Just got back from work and I believe I've got some mail waiting for me. Right then, let's see what we've got here. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Guys, my first fifth scale. What the hell have I got myself into here? <laughs> Amazing. surprise I've just come back from work uh, and uh, I knew I had the parcel delivery due today but I did not expect such a huge parcel my goodness <laughs> that's amazing and I am absolutely stoked with this guys this is fantastic my very first fifth scale here uh, courtesy of RC models go and check their web page out I'm not sponsored by them uh, but uh, Gonna give them a shout out anyway because uh, they're a great team and they hooked me up with this fantastic one fifth scale beast. Can't wait to get it open for you guys and uh, let's do it. Uh, right then, okay. I know what this is. Let's see what this is. Almost got it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. So this is the uh, this is the manual. It's uh, extremely basic. As you can see, it's just a few pieces of paper stapled together. Yeah, so a few, few pages of it. Yeah, you've got your things to check out the box. You've got fuel mixtures. Uh, starting the vehicle. <laughs> the buggy. Running in the engine, carburetor settings. Yeah, got a bunch of little things. Let's see. General cleaning and maintenance and fail safe and kill switch okay there's a bunch of little things good good little uh, information pack there very useful to have right, let me go get my knife do, 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 do do now to my favorite bit the unraveling. <laughs> right, guys, the seal has been opened. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. <laughs> right, let's move all this uh, stuff out of the way. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a feast for the eyes here, guys. There's too much going on. <laughs> right then, anybody guess what I've had yet? <laughs> Blade 5B King Motor. <laughs> right, guys, <laughs> I've had to put the box on the floor. <laughs> it was just too big to fit on the table. I could never have taken the, the stuff out with the box on the table, so uh, I've had to do that. Uh, <laughs> so let's get cracking then. So, what do we have here? Okay, so this is what was on top of the box. Um, I take back what I said earlier, but the instructions being very basic, <laughs> we've got two instruction books here, as well as the uh, A4 sheets of instruction we had earlier on. Um, so this is for the, I think this is an instruction manual for the cage, I believe. Yes, that's right. It looks like it. Okay. Yeah. So that's all about the construction of the cage design. And then this is the instruction manual on the Baja itself. Of course, the, the blade is a 
based on the Baja platform, just with a different uh, cage uh, body shell design. Okay, very nice. So this is like your standard manual. Um, everything you need to know on gasoline mixtures, um, how to set up your radio, uh, range checks, all that good stuff, uh, you know, uh, starting the engine. You, you all get the drift. Very nice. So this is uh, what was next to come out of the box. I really love this um, addition to the, the package deal I had with this car. Um, it's a mixing um, bottle, uh, perfect for measuring your 25 to one gasoline to oil mixing ratio. Um, anybody that hasn't had a fifth scale RC car before, this is super cool, uh, very useful, and it saves on some cost. Ooh, very, very nice. So this is uh, what was next to come out of the box. A beautiful sticker sheet. Can't wait to see what that looks like on the car. This is the next thing to come out of the box. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it looks to be the transmitter. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Ooh, oh, what we should Lovely stuff. Put that over here. Very nice, so this is what you get in the box. The uh, transmitter looks to be the fly sky, it's pretty standard with these uh, RCs. Uh, this is the FS GT3B. I think there's a GT3C as well. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there is. I'm not sure which one's better, but this was pretty good so far. I'm sure everybody reads the manual. <laughs> right then, what's this? Oh, bind plug. We've got a uh, antenna tube. Very nice. Put that there. Oh. Very, very nice. Okay. So this is it, guys. Bring this closer to you. There she is. Looking very, very nice. Actually, to be fair, it does look very good for a ready-to-run um, transmitter, to be fair. Let's see what batteries we have in here. Oh, okay, so it's not it's not rechargeable. I think some of them are, but in this case, this one isn't, and it will take eight uh, double A's, uh, which is not that great, but you know, it is what it is. Oh. Okay, uh, next, what do we have here? Oh, put that on there. Looks to be a charger. Uh, that's probably for the included battery, probably, uh, uh, nickel metal hydride. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so that's for the uh, the wheels. That's a wheel socket, I think. And I think this may have other functions as well. Like um, uh, it, it may be like a multi tool. I think it's to help with uh, dismantling shock absorbers and things like that as well. I've seen videos of people doing that with this type of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, a spare um, two-stage air filter, very nice. This is actually quite cool. This is like a multi-tool. Uh, it's got five and a half mils, eight mil, 10 mil, six mil, and another eight mil, and a seven mil hex. So it's pretty good. Um, I'll discover fully what this is supposed to be used for very soon, I'm sure. And then this looks like, uh, well, you've got a, like um, a posi drive screwdriver on the end there. You've got a hex wrench. Uh, this looks like uh, probably gonna be used on the spark plug to remove that whenever you need to. So for engine maintenance and things like that. Very nice. Okay guys, so this is everything else that was in the box. Let's get it open. So, uh, first of all, let's open this little box here. Let's see if I can uh, do this relatively quickly for you guys. Let's see what we have. Very nice, so uh, seem to have a few. Uh... Oh yes. Uh, so this car, guys, uh, doesn't come uh, pre-painted from factory, so I bought myself some nice um, fast finish, fast tracks, um, spray paints. 
very nice. So I'm going for a, let's see what else have I, what else have I got here. I'm going for a nice red and yellow colour. So uh, I'm not a great painter guys, but I'm just going to go for a basic paint job. Kind of like the idea of a retro look on this car. And uh, that's the look I'm going for, so the, the nice orange and yellow colours, kind of retro. Very nice. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yes, I forgot about this. <laughs> right then, let's see whether. Okay, so this doesn't actually come with the car. Let me just move this step over here. So this doesn't come as part of the uh, <laughs> package deal. I bought this extra uh, <laughs> because um, here it is, guys. Let me just show it to you quickly. <laughs> So uh, let me put this over here. So I actually bought this extra um, with the car. Uh, I've seen uh, TRX MH is videos. Um, check him out. He's actually really good. Another shout out for you guys there. He's really good. He's got one of these cars. Actually, it was watching his videos that inspired me to get my own blade um, Baja. And he's running this pipe on it. I think it's a Dominator pipe. I don't think it's an original one. I think it's a clone, but it seemed to work really well on um, his a Blade Baja with that 34cc engine. Um, and I've heard a lot of people uh, mention that the stock pipe that comes with this car um, strangles the engine. So this definitely works extremely well. I would highly recommend getting this. It's relatively inexpensive as well. I mean, it's I think it cost me about 34 pounds or something like that, 34, 35 pounds. Um, I, I'm not sure how much that is in dollars, but you can work that out, I suppose. Pretty good, I would say. It also comes with this, uh, with the gaskets. There we go. Everything there for you. Okay. <laughs> so I was looking at this just now. I really like this. So it's like a little sticker sheet and it's got a nice little suite there from uh, RC Models. Nice little touch there, guys. <laughs> Let's give this sweet a little uh, taste, shall we? Mmm! <laughs> Very good! Oh, I'm getting a bit of strawberry, a bit of orange in there. <laughs> nice one, RC models. Very nice. Nothing better than having an, a, a tasty treat whilst unboxing your new RC toy. <laughs> right then, next. Outdoors for the shocks. Uh, not essential. I bought these as an extra, so it doesn't come part of the car. But it is a good thing to have if you're going to be running in dirty conditions, uh, dusty conditions. Um, all that dirt, all that grime will go into the seals in your shock absorbers and could potentially damage them without these. So this is a great little um, thing. It's an added cost. In my opinion, it's worth it. Why not? Okay, outdoors. Um, one for the dual stage air filter and the other for the uh, pull start. Uh, lots of people have them on their fifth scales. Most people suggest that you should have one. Uh, so that's what I've done. One thing I don't have here though, guys, is a kill switch. Um, I have one on the way, I've ordered one. Uh, I don't ha it hasn't arrived today for some reason, but uh, yeah, I, I will be installing a kill switch onto the RC vehicle. It's a big car, just you wait and you'll see why you need one in a minute. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> what can I say? What a beast of a machine. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous RC car I've ever had. <laughs> it's just massive. Massive. That's the only way I can describe it. It's huge. It's beefy. Tremendous quality. Like, seriously. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I struggled so bad with getting this into the frame. Ah, 
<laughs> See, this has blown me away and I am speechless. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> my girlfriend will tell you. It takes a lot to make me speechless, let me tell you. This is another, it's just another beast. Like I'm all about eight scale. Like I, I, I've owned countless buggies in the past. Uh, I just bought myself a Savage. I used to have one of those in the past, but it's all eight scale stuff, you know, guys. This is, this is just another level. I mean, it's opened up my world in RC. I, I can't believe I haven't done this sooner. But the price was right. And there are more uh, fifth scale RCs out there now that are of this price range, you know, guys, that, that people can afford them. And I'm so glad about that because this is just another level. It's amazing. Guys, let me bring you in for a closer look. <laughs> guys, here it is. Oh, let's take a closer look on this uh, beast of a machine. So this uh, this RC car cost me £549, I believe, from RC models. Ooh, there's the cab in there. I mean, it's unbelievable considering that uh, HBI equivalents of these models back in the day were costing well over a £1,000. And look how much you get for your money, guys. Look at that, 34cc fuel -y engine. Oh, beautiful. KM Racing. Let's feel the tread on these. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually surprisingly tough. So it's quite it's quite a hard compound there, guys, but it looks very, very nice, very grippy. Very nice bead locks there. Ooh, they're real bead locks. <laughs> I just noticed that now. Wow. So you can actually change that yourself. You can actually change the bead lock and I'm assuming you can take the tire off. They're not they're not glued. I don't think they are anyway. Oh that would make the process so much easier. Amazing. Right then. Oh hold on a second. Guys I don't know what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure in the pictures on the RC models website it did not have the dominated pipe on it. And of all the videos I've seen on YouTube of this car, it came with the stock pipe, which was not the dominated pipe, but it seems to have the dominated pipe on it already. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if that's my mistake or if that's uh, something that should have been uh, amended on the RC Models website. I don't know. Maybe they've changed the pipe because everyone was saying that this pipe was a better pipe. Um, but it means I've got two of them now, <laughs> so uh, I'll just have to sell that on my uh, eBay business online. Uh, check that out, guys. Actually, if you want to, I'm. Uh, it's the same name as my YouTube account, In God RC Experience. I do a lot of stuff on eBay. Let's put that over there. But that's going to have to be sold now because I've already got one. So there's no need for a second. Okay, so guys, it looks like these cars now come with the, the clone dominator pipe as opposed to the, the the pipe that comes with it well the, the other pipe i thought that came with it uh and i can't remember what it's called now but i will tell you uh i'll put it in the description below um okay so we've got this 34 cc engine as you can see the body panels on this car are um they have not been painted so yeah i, I think um that's quite a nice feature in some ways for all you guys that like to paint yeah, in my case, I've got these uh, nice paints here. Uh, I'll be using these. What do you think, guys? Maybe yellow or it's like an orangey red. Yellow for the for the top set, the top panel here, maybe, and then maybe red or I think it's like an orangey red on the panel here. Let's see. I'll have to make that decision. Maybe, uh, why don't you let me know in the comments what, what you would prefer there. <laughs> right then. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So you've got the wishbones um, and the upper suspension arms are um, orange in colour. I, I really do like that touch. Um, yeah, you can see here. Very, very nice. Let me see if I can uh, get the body off and uh, we'll see what's underneath. Right, okay. 
So I finally got the body off. It was a little bit more tricky than I uh, than I expected, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but it's off. Um, these are all the things that I had to remove from the body. So it was four um, body pins here. So they were located here, 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 and here. So those were the first four I removed. I then removed, uh, where is it? Oh, it's on the body now, but there was a little sliding pin uh, going in here. So I have to remove that sliding pin. There was a little body pin holding it there. So I just removed that out. So that freed up the front end. Nothing else to report on the front end. Then we have these body pins in the rear. They went in the holes here. So I had to remove those. And then I also had to remove this screw, uh, this bolt and this pin here. From the very, very rear here. Let me see if I can get a get a close up. Oh, it's very hard to get a close up. You can just about see it there. See? Oh, not very great. There we go. You can just about see it there. But it has to be said, guys, what a beautiful machine. Seriously. Like the quality is well something that I haven't really experienced before the scale I have definitely not experienced before I'm just looking at these shocks they just look amazing these are all metal I think that's plastic on the top there oh that's loose that's not good that needs to be tightened so that's coming like that from factory that actually reminds me um supposedly with these cars um one thing that is lacking is the way that it's been put together. The quality of the car is good, but the build quality is supposedly not so great. So the way it was put together at the factory, supposedly lacking, bit hit or miss. Uh, so what I what people have told me is that I need to get into my diff, rebuild the diff, put your put some nice oil in there, get rid of that crappy, um, you know, packed grease crap. Put some nice diff oil in there. Get a nice um, thick uh, diff oil in there. Probably going to be, you know, 100,000, 200,000 diff oil, maybe even more. Uh, so, and tighten those diffs up and put thread lock on them as well. Because you don't want that coming loose. Lots of reports of people having problems with their diff out from the factory. Because... Uh, screws coming loose causing all uh, levels of havoc in the diff housing so make sure you do that guys but other than that the build quality is incredible like the individual components um it looks amazing got some nice shock boots there let me see if i can go down here beautiful dual stage air filter got the outerwares for that very very nice some nice looking servos plastic servo horn the only thing i would say is the plastic servo horn for the steering is not ideal so that's going to have to be changed at some point and there seems to be quite a lot of play there seems to be quite a lot of play there so it doesn't look to be coming from the servo no it's not coming from the servo it's coming from the servo saver and I think there's a little screw there. Yes, there is. See in there, just about. There's a little screw there that can probably be tightened. So I'll have to look into that. Guys, this is amazing. Honestly, totally blown away. A few little things that need to be looked at. But other than that, it's looking good. Servo tray here. That's where the charging point is for the battery. I think it comes with the battery, actually. Um... There you go. Your oh, that's where the um, receiver goes. Beautiful. So I've just uh, flipped it around, just looking at it from this side. We haven't really had a good look on this side, so you can see the brakes. I think they're vented disc brakes. Let's move the car forward. Yeah, you can see them. You can see it moving there. Spur gear. 
got our clutch bell, clutch assembly going on here by the looks of it. And uh, this is the choke on, choke off. You can see for the instructions there. I think that means choke off, but check the manual. Nice big fuel tank, body posts. I really love this uh, flame design they've got going on here on the chassis. Uh, I don't think uh, it's usually like that. I think that's something that comes sp especially with this model. I really like that. That's really cool. Guys, just trying to give you a good look at this RC. See what you're getting if you do get it. I'm really super impressed with it so far, guys. Um, but I think it will need some uh, kind of maintenance, some looking over before you get cracking with it. Um, I would suggest um, possibly doing a rebuild of the diff before you even get started. Lock tight everything change that crappy packed grease out from the diff to a um, nice good quality oil um silicon oil and that will sort the problem out there shocks don't feel so bad they feel a little bit uh a little bit stiff so maybe i might put a thinner oil in there i might oh they feel good in the front i might just rebuild the shocks as well so I know that all the seals have been um, oiled up correctly, lubricated properly. But that's just my opinion. I think it's probably that would probably be fine as it is. The diff would probably be fine as it is as well. But, you know, I'd rather not take any chances because I've heard some horror stories and I don't want that going wrong from the uh, outgo. So that's looking good, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm super impressed. Uh, I, I can't really fault it, to be honest, especially for the price. I mean, 500 and, what was it, £549 pounds or whatever. It's pretty good. I mean, you're getting a lot for your money here, guys. And last but not least, the cage. Just want to have a quick look at this before I uh, end this video. <laughs> Looks absolutely fantastic. Got some lovely details going on here, guys. Cooling fans drivers dials steering wheel nice uh, lights on the front there very nice that was the pin i mentioned before you can see oh very hard to grip onto that's it there you just take the pin out and push that through and you shouldn't have any problems taking the front end off yeah that's the rear end looking very nice and of course the other side looks pretty much the same guys. And then uh, let me just flip this over like this. Ooh. There we go, that's what it look, kind of looks like underneath. Looks very, very nice. I love these uh, mud guards here. That, sh that should uh, s prevent a lot of the, the dirt and the grime from getting into the chassis components, engine components. That should uh, be super helpful. Guys, it's, it's a really, really nice bit of kit. Super, super high quality. I'm really liking the, the look of this. Well guys, that's it for me. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> you don't have to, of course, but it would be nice. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you again. Uh, look forward to, to get a running video on this guy.